Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 3rd, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. It was a short day out at the Hawk Watch, but stick around to the end of the video where I'll cover the details of this year's 2024 Bird of Prey Days Festival later this month. When I woke up this morning, there was a break in the rain, so I went over to the Braddock Bay South Marina to scan through the ducks, but it was mostly just the usual stuff. I had a total of 24 species from the marina. I thought the rest of the day was going to be a washout, but actually around 11.30 there was a gap in the rain, so Kim and I went out to the hawk watch and stood near the cars and were able to get about an hour and a half of hawk watching in. During that time, the skies remained overcast with strong to very strong east-southeast winds. Here's the radar from my weather app showing that gap in the rain. And it was still sprinkling a bit off and on, so we decided not to get too far from the cars. Plus, where we were standing, the tree line behind us was blocking the wind, and really it didn't feel that bad out. And really, there was a decent amount of activity. There were some flocks of robins and blackbirds migrating. Here we have a killdeer. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so we should be thinking falcon. Overall, it's light underneath, but we do have some vertical brown streaking here in the upper breast, making this a female American kestrel. Here we have a large dark raptor with a large head, some splotchy white throughout the underside. This is an immature bald eagle. Those southeasterly winds were a headwind for the migrating raptors, so they were tending to stay low, including this one, which was very low. We see kind of an owl-like facial disc. We see a white rump patch and a long tail. This is a northern harrier. And as the harrier went to land in the field, we get another look at that white rump patch and the banded tail. While the harrier was on the ground, some crows came to harass it, but the harrier turned the tables. Here we have two birds that have the sky on their back and the earth on their breast. These are eastern bluebirds, and the brighter one on the right is a male. Here we have a small songbird. It's overall light underneath, and we see a yellow and black facial pattern. This is a horned lark, and it was part of a flock of around 40 horned larks that flew over together. Here we have a duck with a somewhat long squared off tail and a very distinctive head pattern. This is a male wood duck. Here we have a raptor with a lot of grayish and white tones to the underside. We see that it's holding the wings up into a V shape called a dihedral. You see a lot of black here at the wingtips as well as the trailing edge to the secondaries and the long tail. This is an adult male northern harrier. Here's the top side of the same bird and again notice that gray or silver color. And notice how pointed the wings of the harrier can get especially when it's in a glide posture. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so we should be thinking falcon. We see that it's overall light underneath with a distinctive facial pattern. This is another American kestrel. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor. This is an osprey. And another look at an osprey. Notice the white head with the black line through the eye. Taking a look at the eBird list from the Hawk Watch, we had 39 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 21 turkey vultures, 2 osprey, 2 bald eagles, 7 northern harriers, 1 cooper's hawk, and 2 american kestrels for a total of 35 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 146 and the season total to 8,266. Taking a look at the forecast, the next 3 days all look questionable, tomorrow looking cloudy with rain and snow. East northeast winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's an unfavorable wind direction and fairly strong. Combined with the rain and snow, won't be much happening and the count may not be held. For Friday, cloudy with snow showers. And for Saturday, considerable cloudiness with a shower of rain or wet snow possible and strong north northwest winds. So, not looking like as much of a washout for Saturday, but a strong unfavorable winds again. The annual Braddock Bay Raptor Research Bird of Prey Days Festival will be held this year from April 26th to the 28th. You'll be able to meet live hawks, falcons, owls, and more, experience the migration at the Hawk Watch. There are activities for the whole family, both indoors and out, and one entry donation for the entire weekend of $5 for adults and kids free. There will be displays of raptor artwork from Honeyoy Falls Lima students and also some informational booths by local businesses and conservation organizations. And the event is held at Braddock Bay Park where we do the hawk watch from. Taking a look at the schedule for the opening night, Friday, April 26, doors open at 6.30. At 7 p.m. there's a program, Into the Woods, Raptors of the Forest. 
featuring the Braddock Bay Raptor Research Raptor Ambassadors presented by Dana Ford with special guest Sherlock the Screech Owl. And at 8 p.m. there will be a sunset walk and evening owl prowl around Braddock Bay Park led by Jill Heimrich. For Saturday, the events are starting at 11 a.m. Introduction to wildscaping, pollinator, and wildlife gardening. At noon, Into the Woods, a bird's survival guide to living in the forest. At 12.30, Hawkwatch Bingo. And then Western New York Raptor and Wildlife Care will present different programs at 1 and 2 o'clock. And at 3 p.m., Capillaria and Sharp Shinned Hawks, Current Trends and Research Directions. And for Sunday the 28th, we have the Cornell Raptor Program presenting live raptors at 11 and 12. At 1.30, What's That Hawk? Raptor ID. At 2 p.m., an Owl Woods Walk. At 2 to 4, Messenger Woods Wildlife Care and Education Center presents a live raptor meet and greet. And then poster presentation, change in historic weather trends and impact on observed raptor migration. And of course, all weekend long, you can come visit me at the Hawk Watch platform. Here it says from 11 to 3, they'll have certain activities set up. But of course, we'll be there the whole day as we typically are doing the Hawk Watch, usually from around 9 to 5. And there will also be raptor banding station tours. And I'll put a link in the description to the Braddock Bay Raptor Research website where you can find out all of the information for Bird of Prey Days 2024. It looks like the weather's going to remain crummy for the next two or three days, and I'm getting little snippets of birding here and there, and really it's been pretty decent given the lousy weather. But over the weekend, things will start to clear up, and hopefully we'll get some more good days Um, About a week from now, towards the end of next week, they're currently calling for some strong southerly winds, so we'll keep an eye on that as possibly the next big migration day, especially as we're getting into the first broad-winged hawks of the season. Hope you're able to join us soon out at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.